Welcome back to Listography Talking Heads Week. Uh, we are concluding with a, a little discussion about some of our favorite concert films, videos, DVDs, etc. You know, we're kind of basing this on on the uh, the greatness of Stop Making Sense by the Talking Heads, one of the great concert films of all time. So I thought we'd take a look at some of the other great ones. If you've seen the, the our previous videos on the Talking Heads, you'll know that Stop Making Sense was like the first Talking Heads I kind of was introduced to. And in a lot of ways, I prefer some of those versions to the studio. Um, so I was kind of thinking of what other, you know, live kind of recorded performances maybe improve in my mind upon some of the studio stuff. So uh, I have Okonokos, I don't even know how to pronounce it, Okonokos uh, by My Morning Jacket, which uh, I think really kind of brings some energy to uh, some of the songs from Z, which I really like, but I kind of don't love the production on it. I really like the way they play them live. I think it, you know, this kind of big energy that uh, is only kind of available in that live setting. I also have Hail, Hail, Rock and Roll from Chuck Berry, which was his big 60th birthday recording of a concert. And, you know, people like Chuck Berry probably, you know, everyone knows their songs, but they're not that popular, I guess, because at least in my mind, you know, the recordings just aren't that great. It's kind of that old timey. It doesn't really capture the energy and the exuberance that someone like Chuck Berry can have in a live setting. You know, he brings out a bunch of guests, but it's really just him kind of rocking and rolling and just being awesome, even at 60 years old. Also, what else do we have? I don't know if this really counts, but Rush is our 30 uh, concert tour that they did. It's Rush, so it's cool. You could pick Rush and Rio as well, both are pretty awesome. I also have uh, Iron Maidens, Live After Death, which probably considered the greatest metal live kind of recording ever. Just them being awesomely Iron Maiden-y. I mean, if you don't like Iron Maiden, you're probably not gonna like this, but if you like Iron Maiden, you you really kind of get why they were so popular. And I think I have one more. So Prince, Sign of the Times, all time kind of classic. Again, he's he's a guy, I love his studio recordings, but seeing it, and I've never seen him live in person, really, and I never will. But something like this kind of really shows, you know, how good he was, how good of a guitar player he was, which you don't always get on the studio recordings. Uh, so kind of, you know, you get that, exuberance and energy and just kind of liveliness watching someone like Prince, who's such a good performer anyway, uh, really kind of just show why he was either the, the number one or number two pop star of the, of the 1980s. Very nice. Good list. You stole a couple of mine. I think Rush and Rio is the definitive Rush live DVD, mainly because of the crowd involvement, just the excitement of, you know, a city that was just dying to have Rush finally come there. And then they finally did. It was like the most excited I've ever seen people for Rush. And then uh, there's a really good, like maybe just hour long documentary attached to it. Uh, when they talk about, you know, the, at the time, the perils uh, and the, you know, the tragedy that Neil went through with his family and all that. And it's really good. I've also got, this one might not count because technically there's no concert that ever happens, but I'm going to go Michael Jackson's. This is it. You know, it's, all about the preparation for that big tour. And it's just really fascinating showing the, the detail and him, the rehearsals and going through all of the stuff and, you know, kind of micromanaging little hi-hat hits and all of this and kind of, you know, it, there is there's definitely a genius to some of his work. And that was very evident here. As far as straight up, just, you know, performance-based DVDs. I love Reality by David Bowie. There's a lot of energy to that. And he plays a good bit of newer stuff, which is really cool. Kind of in the same vein, I'm going to go with Jonathan Demme, one of my favorite filmmakers, does Heart of Gold by Neil Young, kind of attached to the Prairie Wind album. Um, and it's just really soulful, really good. And I'm going to throw out Touring Band by Pearl Jam, one of my favorite concert you know performances ever and they take a bunch of different cities that they're touring on and 
put together a set list from all of these other locations and it's really awesome and raw and rugged. Uh, I believe it's the binaural tour they're touring with on that album, which is a very underrated Pearl Jam album. And then finally, I'm going to go with U2's Rattle and Hum, which was pretty cool. It's in their big kind of, you know, journey into America and they really want to be Americanized and they're doing a lot of covers. They do Helter Skelter and they do um, All Along the Watchtower and some other stuff that just appear on that CD and live concert. But there's a lot of really cool just twining of the live performances behind the scenes stuff. You got to like U2 for it, which I do. All right. I wasn't sure I was going to have enough left after U2 went. I thought you were going to steal all of mine, but I do have five remaining. So uh, first off, I'll go with How the West Was Won by Led Zeppelin. Song Remains the Same is really cool, but it's got all this sort of like... I don't know, video footage like spliced in. It was like different scenes that they shot. And it kind of like, I don't know, it takes away from the concert a bit. Uh, but How the West Was Won is just awesome. It's mixed really well. It sounds great. And the footage is so good. Um, really, really cool. Like it a lot. Then I'm going to go with Concert for George, which was the George Harrison tribute concert after he died. Really, really good show. All the you know, sort of big players that you would expect are there. Clapton, Jeff Lynne, uh, Tom Petty, but the real show stealer is Billy Preston, who absolutely kills it. Then I'll go with Good Evening New York City by Paul McCartney. Really, really good performance. He, he returns to New York, and you know his band is so great. They've been great for a long time, and you know, this really is a good showcase for how good they are. Really good set list, and a good mix, and it sounds really good. So uh, I'm going to go with that. Then I'm going to go with uh, Utopia Redux, reunion tour of Utopia in 1992 of their Japan tour. Really, really good. I had this when I was growing up. My dad had it and we watched it all the time. It's great. Um, Todd's voice in the late 80s and early 90s was probably at its peak. Really, really strong singer. And this really shows how good of a guitarist he is as well. But number one, surprise, neither of you listed this one. Uh, probably the greatest concert film of all time, The Last Saved, Waltz. Saved it for you. I knew someone had to have it. Yeah, kind of a no-brainer. The band is phenomenal. So many cool guests on this, and it's just a great celebration of what the band was all about and a great way for them to go out on top. Nice. I was thinking about Pink Floyd and Pompeii. Pretty cool. There's not a lot of newer stuff, unfortunately. I feel like it's kind of a lost cause because YouTube kind of just can feed you almost anything you want so kind of the art behind it has gone a little bit but there are definitely some great things. Also uh, Woodstock the, the, that, that's a good one too. Monterey Pop same vein Those, that recording's great. And the one that I grew up watching the most was uh, Rush Show of Hands we had it on VHS I would watch it all the time. Cool I'm sure there's a lot we've overlooked or forgot as well so people can put that down in the comments be sure to like the video subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell so they get the notifications when the new videos come out this week we have 1978 coming up uh, so look out for that tomorrow and we will see you next time <laughs>